What's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly shoot one of these million dollar homes. Let's go. What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. My name is Jonathan with Gons Media Productions. Today we are on site at this beautiful, beautiful million dollar listing courtesy of Jeff Luna of the Carter Group. Today we're gonna to show you guys how to shoot and the proper little tips and tools to get this thing ready for market. And stick around to the end because we're gonna be showing you guys our tips and tricks for the twilight shoot. And I think you're gonna like it. So let's get into it. Right now, doing a custom video for my new listing in Montebello. Um, we got a Ferrari, we got a Mercedes that we're gonna do some footage on to showcase the home and uh, you know just shed some light on it. going as planned let's keep moving all right so right now i'm just uh, uh filming some of the little accents like here like things that actually stand out and make the home um like these cool little light fixtures here as well as the address over there and then some of the the plants and the the landscaping really make the home uh unique so we're gonna get some of those features right now just gotta make sure that i'm in focus and then we're gonna give it this cool little effect by coming down below. We'll start low, keep that light centered and slowly, slowly pan up, but try to keep it centered still. So we'll do it one more time. Start low, we're in manual focus, make sure we're in focus. And try to keep that same distance all the way throughout so that it doesn't go out of focus. And there we go. guys so what's up we're back here in the house there's actually a worker here doing some work right now so we're kind of limited on what we can do but we still have three hours until sunset it's currently 4 30 have a lot of light flowing through the house right now so although we have a lot of sunlight coming in we still want to turn on all the house lights so first things first we're going to go throughout the house and turn on all the lights so let's go ahead and do that one little tip right here a lot of people forget this light Oven hood usually oven hoods usually always have a light. It's always cool to turn those on, get some cool effects onto the stove. So it's always good. You're usually always gonna have equipment with you on site. So it's always good to designate a room to kind of just store your equipment. That way you don't have shit all over the house. One, you don't wanna disappoint the realtor, you don't wanna disappoint the homeowner, and two, you wanna be out of your own way. So by keeping everything in one room, we can shoot the rest of the house, and then when we're ready to shoot this room, we just move it out, shoot the room, and we're good to go. Um, sometimes, you know, the least you can do, or sometimes you're gonna have to clean up a little bit to make things look a little bit more appealing. I mean, it's only gonna help your video, and it's gonna help their chances, so. Um, Doing the extra little dirty work, it's not always gonna hurt. We are limited on what we can do, so we're not gonna get too many wide shots right now. We're gonna focus on those more detailed shots. This being a luxury house, we're gonna get more of the cool features that might be a little bit more of the selling points. So I have a 24 to 70 on here. We're gonna get real nice and tight on those cool little features, something like this faucet right here. We got the faucet over there, countertops, things like that. We're gonna get all that stuff and throw it in the video so it looks a little bit something like this. Alright guys, so right there I'm at about a 45 millimeter range. I'm at f2.8 and I'm overexposing two stops because I want to bring up all those shadows and make it look like there's a lot of light in here. Um, if you have a full frame sensor, this is okay because you can bump up the ISO without getting a lot of that grain. If you're rocking with something like, you know, a micro four thirds or a crop sensor, it could be a little bit harder. 
but in this case, it works. So let's go to the next one. All right, guys, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to achieve a really, really cool look. Um, I'm going to put the camera on this tripod, and although it's on this, uh, you know, this standstill tripod, we're actually still gonna be shooting video. So I'm gonna focus right here on this wall that you see. Um, I think it has a really, really cool feature. This house really flows nicely inside to out. It has like some somewhat of a seamless transition. So I wanna make sure all my lines are straight, both vertically and horizontally. So that's what I'm doing here. Making sure everything's lined up. Once I get that stuff straight, I'm going ahead and go ahead and lock it in. So there we are, we're locked in nicely. I'm exposed for the outside, I'm focused on the outside. I will go ahead and hit record right here. And now what I'll do is we'll have that video recording while it's closed. We'll do one about halfway right here. Let me step out of the frame. Let it record while it's about halfway. We can even go up a little bit further, do a little bit more. Step out of the frame again. And then now that I've stepped out, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more all the way. Step out of the frame once more. And then boom, with that, what we're gonna go ahead and do is in post, we're gonna cut them up, put them together, and it looks like this. <laughs> All right, check this out, guys. So we're gonna go a seamless transition right here, going from the front, go up, 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 and around. Keep going, keep going, and then we're gonna go all the way to the background. Anything past four seconds of just no motion, the viewer will get very bored very fast. So you want to keep things moving. Just kind of slowly glide across and. Showcase the house, go slow. Okay, that came out good. And all I'm gonna do is just do everything again back the other way. Cause like I said before, you can never have too much, ever. You'll never go wrong. So I like to do long drawn out movements. And with these drawn out movements, what I'll do is I'll speed ramp the middle of it and slow down the ends or vice versa. And that movement I just did there, I'll go ahead and show you what I did here. Okay guys, so let's check it out. We've had this camera running back here for maybe about, an, at least an hour now, I wanna say. We're running low on battery, but I'm fine with it because we're getting everything we need. Um, major shout out to, again, Jerome for letting me borrow this. All right, guys, so that's pretty much the basics of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed walking through a day with me, what it's like shooting a property like this. Um, if you guys have any questions, drop them down below. If you wanna see more of this and more in-depth one, maybe I'll bring Jerome back with me for the next house. Um, we can do something like that. So if you got value, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. And yeah, any questions, drop a comment. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.